All right, jumpers, welcome back. So by the time you got to this video, you've definitely done 100 bounce step jumps unbroken, meaning you're not hitting yourself with the rope or you're not jumping on the rope. Number two, you've done 100 alternating foot step jumps unbroken. Again, not hitting yourself or jumping on the rope. Fantastic. What we're going to do now is we're going to up the intensity a little bit more and bring the knees up a little bit higher. So just like we did before, you start with both handles in your driving hand. My, hand is the right, my driving hand is the right hand because I'm right-handed. You, yours may be the left, totally fine. Get that rope moving, and we're gonna bring the knees up much higher towards the waist. So as you can see right away, this is dramatically increasing the intensity of the jump, okay? So it's very important that you've practiced the bounce step and the alternating foot step up into this point for, for two reasons. One, it's gonna keep your conditioning up so you can actually get through the set. And number two, you've built up a little bit more endurance and strength in the legs so that you can actually jump this high without injuring yourself. All right, so the setup for this one is the same as the other two. You're gonna have the rope starting behind the knees. This time though, you're gonna start with your knee much higher because this is gonna be the height that your knee's gonna to come to each time. The alternating foot step was down here and the high knee step is up here, hence, the high knee. All right, so again, we're just gonna try two jumps right away. One, two, and stop. Again, one more time. One, two, stop. From the side, again, maintaining that nice tall jump posture that we talked about in the first video. Knee starts up nice and high. One, two, stop. One more time. One, two, stop. Now we're gonna do the same as the alternating foot step. We're gonna go from two to four to eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 to 32. So follow along now, just like the other ones, master one before moving on to the next. Here we go for four. One, two, three, four, stop. One more time. Woo, getting a little excited, ready? One, two, three, four, stop. We got there, let's go to eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Stop. <clears throat> you know where we're going. That's 12. Knee up. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Woo! Hoop. Already starting to get that sweat on. <laughs> 16 next. Knee up. Head stop. All right. Now we're going for 20. Nice round number. Ready, knee up. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, stop. Whew, that's a lot of work already. <laughs> 24, knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, one, two, three, four, stop. Whew, all right. And again, if you're having trouble with the timing, pause the video, practice the reps until it's nice and smooth. Because when we land, we're gonna make sure it's not a hard landing, it's a nice, soft landing. All right, I think we're on 28. Let's go. Yep. 10. 20. 5, 6, 7, 8, stop. Whew, all right. We're at the top of the list now. We're at the 32. Ready, knee up, and one, two, stop. Whew, all right. So again, as you can see, really starts to get the heart rate up, really starts to up the intensity. So again, just like we did before, you want 100 bounce steps, 100 unbroken alternating footsteps, and now we're gonna do 100 unbroken high knee steps. Again, the counting for this one is best done if you count just the right leg. That way it's a little bit easier for you to keep track. Once you get to 50, you're just gonna double it, and bam, there's your 100 jumps. All right, so if you got up to 32, it's now time for 100, guys. <sighs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. 10, 2, 
40. Six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Woo! And there you go, you got your 100 jumps. And again, as you can see, by just raising the height of the knees, it dramatically increases the intensity without getting super fancy and while still keeping you very safe to avoid the shin splints. Take a second, grab a sip of water, catch your breath, and I'm gonna show you a really fun little combo here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna combine those three jumps, the bounce step, the alternating foot step, and the high knee step that you just practiced in a four by four by four, okay? What that means, four bounce steps, four alternating foot steps, and four high knee steps. And that's one round of the combo. Let's get going. So start two feet together. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, stop. And again, from the side. One, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, stop. So you practice the alternating foot step, you practice your bounce step, you've got your 100 high knees, and now we're gonna work that combo. We wanna get 10 rounds of the four bounce steps, four alternating foot step, and finishing with the four high knees. We're gonna go through that 10 times. Grab your rope, let's get busy. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Four, two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, last one, two, three, four, whoo, there you go. That's a nice four by four by four combo that will obviously get you a little bit out of breath, up the intensity, and definitely up your skill set. So in keeping with the theme of the video, we wanna make sure that we master one skill before moving on to the next. So you've gotta do your high, knee, your high knee step for 100 reps, unbroken, and then get that, 10 by, that four by four combo 10 times. All right guys, keep practicing and then we'll pick up on the next video. Till then, keep jumping.